We're back from built and we're back with another Revit tip. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to add a visibility parameter to images within families. If that sounds interesting. Check out the rest of this video. All right, so here we are in Revit 2023. This works all the way back to at least Revit 2015. It's quite a ways back. I used to use this method when I worked at a firm. Uh, managing templates and title blocks for our firm. All right, so we're just in the basic kind of sample model that we're always in. This is the advanced sample model, and we have the title block open. When you select an image, you will notice that there is no visibility setting within the dialog on the properties. But there are a few different parameters in here for us to adjust. We have width, height, and the scale options. We also have this lock proportions checkbox, which we want to use as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to deselect lock proportions. And we're going to start tying these parameters together inside of the title block. In this case, I'll make one called image width or logo width is probably better. I'm going to use instance. You can use type for this. And we're going to click OK. And we'll also tie the height parameter logo height instance. Now we have those parameters mapped. Those are changeable now in the title block parameter dialog, which is this little blue checker icon. So within here, we do have these parameters available. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new parameter to tie these two. That's a visibility. We're going to say logo visibility. We'll make it instance as well. We get a yes, no. And we'll go ahead and bundle this under visibility. And now we have that kind of going. So the easiest way to make this work is we can copy the default height from the logo with control C and we're going to do an if statement. So you type if and I'll link to a Revit form post below. That's all about Revit formulas. And we'll say logo visibility. So this is if it's checked the condition. So if checked, we're going to default it to the value that we started out with. If it's unchecked, we're going to change it to zero. So that's how this is working. I'm going to hit apply and those now map together and our units pull through as well. What we can go ahead and do is I'll copy this 95078 and we'll do the same thing on the second line. It is really important to know which values you're typing because if you mess up, it will default to those other values. And now we'll hit apply. In our family that we're currently in, we can test this as well. So we'll deselect that checkbox and hit apply. You'll see the image disappear and it will come back as well. You do have to deselect this lock proportions option for this to work because if you leave it locked, it, you will get an error because it's trying to scale both at the same time. Uh, but it does work if you have that unchecked. Let's go ahead and load this in the project and see how it works. We're going to do overwrite. Now we have that image inside of our title block and we have a logo visibility option in our properties. I'll go ahead and deselect that checkbox. The logo hides and I'll reselect it to show it once again. This is really cool because you can have layered images as well with checkboxes and have all those tied various ways. Um, so yeah, there it is. That is a quick tip on how to add a visibility to images in families within Revit. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>